I'm getting a lot of questions lately about this uh, concept. I don't know where it came from, but this, as long as it fits into your macros, then you can eat whatever you want um, um, scenario. Uh, and people want me to comment on it. Well, my first comment on the, the good, the bad, and the ugly of this, my first comment on it is, once again, this proves that uh, nutritional knowledge, or just the knowledge of nutrition in general, is incomplete when it comes to understanding the science of weight control, the biology of weight control. Now I wrote a book specifically um, that would refute this idea. I wrote a book called Beyond Metabolism, Understanding Your Modern Diet Dilemma. And the book goes in depth in terms of uh, illustrating how our brains evolved. See the science of weight control is not just about c calories, it's about um, diet psychology and the psychology of food and the problems of the modern food environment of abundance. Man didn't evolve around food abundance. The other problem here is what we call hyperpalatable foodstuffs. Um, and these foods um, tend to light up the reward centers of the brain, the opioid centers of the brain. And this is exactly the same area of the brain where people become susceptible to things like uh, alcohol addiction, drug addiction, um, these kind of things. These, when you light up the reward centers of the brain, you sensitize yourself to wanting more of that specific reward, so you crave it. And when it comes to food, the more of these hyperpalatable foods you eat, the more you induce cravings for, to want more and more of it. And this is why diets tend to fail to begin with. So advocating to people that as long as it fits into your macros, you can have frozen yogurt every day, uh, you can have chocolate covered almonds every day, this and that, um, that can be uh, safe for some people some of the time, but not all the people all the time, just like some people can drink uh, alcohol or smoke weed uh, without becoming addicts. Um, not everyone can. And this is the same thing when you start advocating hyperpalatable food on a regular basis. When you light up those reward centers of the brain, you tend to induce more, not less, cravings. And that's how that works for some people. So it's a dangerous thing to be advocating. Plus, for me, what I see in it is, is it starts to create food obsession. People are on their fit day typing away, obsessing over how they can fit in their frozen yogurt or their ice cream or, or whatever. And this is, again, that, that reward center of the brain that starts, starts you to obsessing about things. Um, the other thing is, let's be realistic. I had one person who wrote me asking me about this, and... Um, you know, she had a good at least 60, 70 pounds to lose, and um, she wanted to do the as long as it fits into my macros approach because she wanted to eat ice cream every day and she liked eating ice cream every day and she didn't feel right unless she ate ice cream every day. Well, of course, you know, that's just delusional thinking. I don't know a single person who ever had dramatic weight loss sustainable weight loss of 60 to 70 pounds who ate ice cream every day or donuts every day. So, you know, advocating this whole idea as long as it fits in your macros, um, it, it becomes problematic. The other thing is there, um, people are more likely to overeat on hyperpalatable foods. So, for instance, if you go to the movies and you have um, a big bag of popcorn, if you filled that with carrot sticks and apple slices, you would never get through the whole bag. That's because natural whole foods don't ignite and, and don't uh, light up that reward center of the brain in the same way. So you get that feeling of satiation and you stop eating before you've eaten too much. Whereas with hyperpalatable foods, you get this whole opposite effect where you have a little of it and you want more. So advocating that on a regular basis, again, you want to turn down the craving response in your brain. You don't want to keep igniting it. You don't want to keep uh, lighting the match to that kind of gasoline. So it, it, it becomes a problem. And there's an old saying in, in the science of weight control is that nobody ever got fat from eating too many apples. And that's the same kind of idea here, that certain whole foods, foods in their natural state, they tend not to light up the reward centers of the brain as much. So, of course, you stop eating because you're satiated. 
So um, telling people who are susceptible to food issues um, that they can eat whatever they want as long as it fits into this uh, caloric window, it's just never been proven. It's been around for forever in terms of deal a meal and all these things. It's not really a new concept. Um, but if you understand the science of weight control in terms of how our brains evolved, uh, and the hyperpalatability of modern food and how that lights up the addiction reward centers of the brain, uh, the opioid centers, then it's not really uh, wise advice to be, to be giving. Now some people would be saying, well Scott, your cycle diet, your cycle diet you talk about having your cake and eating it too and you talk about being able to eat whatever you want. Well yes, but there's a couple of caveats here. On the cycle diet, uh, we're not eating um, highly um, hyper palatable foods every day. We're not advocating as long as they fit into your macros. Um, we're saying it, it's once in a specific window of time that you get to eat these foods um, without repercussions. The other thing is in the cycle diet we train the metabolism to be able to handle these foods so they don't get stored as fat. And you have to realize with nutrient partitioning and, and things like that the more processed and hyper palatable the food, the more they tend um, to not be digested nearly as efficiently as whole foods do. So there's some caveats there as well. So this whole idea of as long as it fits into your macros, you can have whatever you want, is a very misleading concept. Once again, it distorts um, the science and biology of weight control by thinking that everything is reduced to nutritional knowledge which is com very very incomplete when it comes to these things it's more it's not just about calories it's about so much more we want to turn down lighting up those reward centers of the brain in a false way so that we can relate more to hunger and less to appetite so again when it comes to this idea of, of as long as it fits into your macros you know, a little bit of common sense, eating ice cream every day is not going to lead to substantial weight loss or a cosmetically um, honed and refined physique. Uh, that's my take on it. I have a lot more to say, maybe in another time. Uh, keep your questions coming.